you're not gonna believe this. I'm at St Pancras station right now. Something epic is gonna happen today. Christian Dior have invited us to Paris with them. <laughs> I'm so excited, I haven't slept. And they've said to meet in one of the lounges. So, um, I just can't believe this. I really wanna take you along and try and share with you as much as of the experience as possible because for me, this is the first time I've ever been on one of these sort of blogger trips. Poor old David is working from home on his own today, but he was equally as excited as me. But I'm just really keen to experience what they're really like and try and share as much of it as I possibly can with you. We all are already here because they were texting me when I was in the car. So, um, <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, I look deathly pale. Right, apparently, before we can get into the lounge, I've got to check in. So I'm gonna go and do that now. And it's, it's just over here, actually. We're finally doing a video together. At last. Yeah. Everyone's been asking. I hope we don't. Some of you have been asking here. anyway. Yeah, yeah. So we've just got here, and I think we're gonna head straight to the museum. Can I tell everyone about the security tag on your coat? Oh, well, you have now. This is this is awful, oh, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. I've got one, I swear <laughs> I haven't. Hi. We need to explain what happened. So I got it yesterday. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's basically they forgot to take the tag off, but we're going to go to Dior. Did it not, did it not, like, alarm? No, because I tap. was filming uh, uh, this now. Yeah. I had everything on with tags. And I was holding oh, the Max Mara bag. Yeah. And I kept beeping, but it, I thought it was the outfit I had on. Oh. Yeah. And I didn't even notice. She noticed this morning. I thought you knew. No, I didn't. When you looked at me like that, I thought you knew. <laughs> I'm with Anne Lee. We are. This is our car, isn't it? This is our car. Yeah. Now, Anne Lee, you work for Dior. I do indeed. How much do you love Dior? I love Dior. I love the company. My passion, my heart, everything. It looks so nice t-shirts and the shoes and the shoes and the watch <laughs> <laughs> you've got the whole thing going on <laughs> right let's head that kind of you can be in it you can be in it there was a huge queue out the front but they've sorted us out some tickets to get in here and we're just waiting to go in now apparently this particular exhibition is the largest one uh, that's going on in the world at the moment so i think there's one in sydney as well um, and they all each room apparently demonstrates a different era of christian dior these and I really want to show you see the red shoes there I've actually got these in purple I've had loads of you asking me about them I got them in 2009 these would have been John Galliano and they are the most comfortable shoe you've ever worn I didn't know they came in red they look pretty cool oh my god look at this room Hours. Yeah, in Imagine. each one. And they use fish to make it. Right. Actual fish. Yeah. Actually, when you look close up, you can see why. Look at the detail on that. 
The ceiling in here looks I love amazing. The ceiling. It's like a worcestery flower. It Maybe is, it's yeah. It's inspiration. It looks incredible. Do you think it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's wisteria, yeah. Wisteria, yeah. Apparently, each one has been done handmade individually. On each. One. And it's like paper. Yeah. Can you imagine the hours of work. Do you think, no, surely someone hasn't done that with scissors, maybe? Yeah, there's a, there's a documentary online. Hang on, there's, there's a pencil mark on that one. Is there? These are all wood couture dresses. Are they? Yeah, from Galliano to Ralph Simmons. How do you, do you know which one's which? Um, I can recognise. Is that a peacock one there? This is a peacock one. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Christian Dior was inspired by flowers in the garden. He spent most of his time in the garden. Right. And he, all his drawings and sketches is inspired by flowers. Do you, flowers. Do you know the, the era of this? This would probably be around the 1940s, mm. 60s. I'm testing you. Yeah. Was, okay. yeah, they look nice though. Which era would you say this would be? Which one? The era. one in the middle? Yes. Uh, the one in the middle is Christian Dior, 1952, nice. Christian Dior, 1956, and John Galliano. Wow. He did an entire collection in Moer and silk. He loved this Avogar style. So you can see that clearly. it's all very classic. Yeah, it's not really classic. This one is definitely not classic. It's very of the era. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Some of we are just about to see now the dresses worn by Natalie Portman in the. Was it's the Mister Your Perfume, Mr. Your isn't perfume. it? Mister Your Perfume. I can see it already. I can see it already. Five seven pair of chiffon painted and embroidered on an organza dress. Seriously, guys, that is amazing to look at that and think Natalie Portman has worn that. Yes. Right? Don't you think it's like the Truman Show? It does. As soon as she gets up there. Oh, there's another There's another, there's another section. Yeah. Yeah. Because I heard, is it true that in this room, you tried to dress it in the way that you would, that Christian Dior would have dressed a woman yeah. going to a ball? So all the lights, all of the different so, colours. Yeah. So it changes. It changes, yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. oh my god, it's amazing. It's interesting. So apparently Christian Dior used to go once a week to a fortune teller. He was very superstitious and he did it to make sure that he was going in the right direction with, I guess, his life and his business. I'm a bit close to your face now. <laughs> no, it's fine, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, thank you, this is amazing. Thank you still, please, thank you. For you, madam, Oh, I have spoken. Thank you. 
Yeah. Hey everyone. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. We've come for lunch. I've got a drink going, which is good. Thank you so much for coming today. Let's have a big toast to the legacy of Dior, to the beautiful ladies that have come to join us today. And yes! Yay! <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good. What did you pick? The hazelnut? The hazelnut and chocolate hazelnut. It looks good! So we're still at the, the same restaurant. We thought we'd come outside and we're have Sorry, I'm not even holding this up. We've just had lunch and we thought we'd come outside, get some air. The view here is so amazing! Look behind me, so I didn't realise that I'm at the Louvre Museum, which is there. And then the other side, can you see the Eiffel Tower in the background? Is that cheesy? <laughs> oh my god, the watch, the watch around the champagne neck. Do you want the bag? Oh, you want the bag? Is it wet? Oh. Are you as well? Are you as well? I feel really... No, no, I feel really bad, but I would be lying. Are you fine? No, you're not fine. You've had gin and tonics. I'm fine. Right, let me put this here. We're fun, us two. You are fun. And you're very good at camera work. Oh, thank you. I try. My first time you're very as a good. junior. This is the book we all got given. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Do you mind showing off that front cover again? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is just amazing. That looks so good. That's really pretty. That's a really nice gift to have received. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Oh! What was that? He had a go at us. Did he? Yeah. Thumbnail. Yeah, I do want a thumbnail. <laughs> if we had more time, I'd really like to go up the Eiffel Tower. I would love to go with you, considering what happened last time. <laughs> what, did something happen to you as well? No, 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 you got stuck up. Yeah, I got stuck up at level that. one. Yeah, yeah. I See, I think if I'd gone up there with someone, it wouldn't been. have been what so bad. Shame. Haven't you ever been? I've been here hundreds of times, and I've never been. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. On the way back to the Eurostar, we've still got some time and it would not be right if we didn't pay a trip to the Dior boutique. Do you remember in August? I came here in August and it was closed. This is it. I've always wanted to go in here, so um, here goes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that next. That's really nice. And the lamp's cast well. Does it come in the painter? No. It's nice to have a difference between your patent blue one yeah. and the lamp's gonna be smaller. See, the thing is with the patent blue one is it wears so well, really well. I don't, I don't wanna buy in here because it's really expensive versus London, but I'm gonna show you the bag that is on my hit list. I've always really liked the, the new smaller size Lady Dior with the customized strap on it. And I've seen this one, I've seen it, I don't know how it's looking there, but um, I've seen it before in a really, really pale pink, and this is in the dusky rose colour. Then over here, this is, this is what I've got, but this is in metallic red. This is the one I was telling you about, the pale pink, and it's got these, um, these charms on the side of it. It's really surreal, this, because only a couple of months ago, I was stood right outside this shop with David. If any of you watched that vlog, you remember I spilled ice cream on myself and it was right at this spot. And I phoned David earlier and I said, I'm, you know, I was right by the Eiffel Tower at the time. It's so funny, you know, when you were here just that time ago and he was already saying to me, it was like, we need to book to go back again. We 
we've just arrived at the station. I think we are possibly cutting it a bit fine. I'm not sure. The tiredness has hit me. Today has been so exciting. I've had an amazing time. My feet are killing me. I cannot wait to go home and see David and tell him all about it. So there's six of us and there's two people in each coach. Lydia and Carrie are on one coach. Claire and I are on the other and then Ida and Ali Lee are on the others. <laughs> oh, that was the best one I've ever done. <laughs> we are en route home. We've got, we've got like an hour and a half. That's actually not too bad. I feel better now I'm sat going forward. <laughs> what? Your face when we thought that we were going backwards. These aren't really our seats, but no one's noticed. <laughs> Thank you both so much for a lovely day. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you too, no, Claire. <laughs> Do you feel unwell? You like from... stop doing that side post. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got my water. You're being really yeah. good. I feel, I feel really unwell because of the travel. Could you stop doing that as well? <laughs> I'm getting her back because she keeps vlogging my face. So if you've been watching this and you're thinking that it's quite an interesting looking exhibition, which it is, it is on until the 7th of January 2018. I'm not paid to say this by the way, just for the record, I'm just letting you know in case you want to go, but it's on until the 7th of January. It is around about 10 euros to get in and it's all held at the Museum of the Decorative Arts and Design, which is just off to the west side of the Louvre Museum, so it's pretty central. As you saw in this vlog, the whole purpose of the exhibition is to celebrate 70 years of the House of Dior and it takes you through every stage of Christian Dior's life up until the point when he passed away and then it goes through all of the different creatives that have taken over from him. I just also want to say a massive thank you to Christian Dior and to Harrods. Dior found us via Harrods and I very much appreciate both of you for inviting us along. To all of you watching, I would not be here if it wasn't for your support and I really appreciate that. I hope that in this vlog it felt like you were there with me. That's what I wanted to sort of do with it. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.